everyone, I'm Lynn from Finds of Yesterday and I'm a reseller on Poshmark, Macari and mostly eBay and I do this full time and this week is Columbus Day week and today's Monday, October 12th and I plan to do a video every morning to show you what is shipping out and even though the post office is not open today, I'm still going to go through my items and package them up and have them ready for tomorrow so I don't have as many to ship tomorrow morning. So let's get started. So I'm going to start with this first item, which is these metal leaves. They're wall hangings. It's kind of hard to see them. Maybe this helps. They are, they are wall hangings and they're made of metal and they're brown. And both of these sold as a pair for $24.95 and sorry I have to look at my notes and she is all in at $38.79 and they sold in two weeks. Next item is these Levi's 505 jeans that I already have packaged up. These are going in a padded flat rate envelope. It looks like it'll be close fitting because they're bigger heavier jeans but since they're heavier um, it's best to send them in this because it's flat rate. I think I pay $7.52 for this to ship out. If I put it in a regular poly mailer, it's going to be closer to 8 So that has been on my eBay site for 10 months since December, and we're in October now. And I finally put them on sale, and they sold for $13.77, but they're all in at $25. So this next item are these Jelly Cat, let me take one out, Plush Jelly Cat Lambs. And I found two of them at a yard sale for 75 cents a piece and they sold for, well both of them sold for $59.90 together. And this is going to a buyer who is a first time buyer or she has no feedback on eBay. This next item is a Harley shirt. It's brand new. Here's the tags. And it's from Tennessee. It's marked Tennessee on the bottom here. And it's got this glittered logo on it. And it says $38.95 originally, marked down to $31. But it took me 10 months to sell this. And I finally sold it on sale for $13.77. She's all in at $22.92 with shipping and probably her tax. This next item is a Victorian shelf that I had up for about three months. And I got it with two other sconces and the sconces sold right away. And she bought it for $27.50. That was a best offer I sent her. And she's all in at $53.13. This one's going to be heavier to ship. That's why the shipping is so much on this one. This next item is Vineyard Vines pants. If you watched any of my vi previous videos, I went to Vineyard Vines store and they had a whole bunch of these on clearance. That was back in August. So I have been selling them slowly for $24.95 and I did pay about $11 with tax on these. So I paid a little bit upwards on them, but I knew they would sell fast being vineyard vines and all. She paid $24.95 plus shipping, which was $32.39. And this last one I've had up since October of last year. It was probably a little too late to get it up for the holiday season, but it finally sold this year and I had to keep marking it down and marking it down and marking it down. Now we have only a couple weeks till Halloween, so I figured I might as well sell it. I sold it for $12.50 on a best offer that I sent them. And they're all in at $18.47. So that is all the items going out today. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Hi everyone, it's Wednesday, October 14th, and we have five items going out, and let's get started. This first item is a boxer kangaroo. Caddy. I think you can put your wallet in it and your coins or it's made for men. I'm pretty sure and This is a very unique piece. It sold for 
and they're all in at $65.33 with shipping. So pretty good piece. I will double box this. This next one is a sculpture. It's a Egyptian winged bull guardian, I think he's called. And it's, it's like resin, but it has a stone finish on it. It's sold for $39.95 and they're in, all in at $53.90 with shipping. This next item is Doc Martin's boots. They're for women. And I got these at a Goodwill for about nine bucks, I think. And they did not have shoestrings and the sole is pulled out of them. So I debated about them for $9, but Doc Martens is a good one. And I cleaned them all up with a leather cleaner and they almost look brand new on the outside. So I sold these for a best offer of $39.95 and it's going internationally. So their shipping is a lot more. All I can see is it's $46.30 that they're all in, but I think they have to pay customs fees yet. So um, this was still a pretty good sale. So don't rule it out. If it's a good brand and it's missing a sole or shoestrings, don't be afraid to buy them. It's still a good sale. This next one I already have boxed up. Sorry, it's a Lennox Hummingbird figurine and it sold for $21.95, which was the full asking price. And they're all in at $29.31. And I probably paid 50 cents for it. And it sold, it sold in seven months. Took a little while to sell that one. This is a Monster Energy shirt that I, and it's Hawaiian style. I got it at a yard sale for a dollar just about a month ago. And it sold for $44.95. And they're all in at $49.21 with shipping. Monster Energy drinks people absolutely love and there's a following for them. So don't be afraid to pick up Monster Energy anything. And this last one is a Vineyard Vines sweatpants. I think you've seen several of these go out in my sold videos. But this one sold for $24.95, the asking price, and $31.20 is what they have into it with shipping. And I've had these listed since we went on vacation, which was in August. So they've slowly been selling, and I'm about down to three of them, and I paid $11 a piece for them. So that's all that's going out today. We will see you on Thursday morning. Hi everyone, it's Wednesday, October 15th, and I'm gonna show you the five or six items that I have going out today. I have actually five orders, but six items, because somebody ordered two items on one order. So let's get started. This first item are these vintage ornaments. They are um, shiny brights, and these are from West Germany. And I've had these listed since last year, October, and they didn't sell for that season, so they ended up selling for this season, but at a lower price, obviously. So it's time to get rid of them. They sold for $9.97, and they're all in at $24.47. I'm going to wrap tissue around each ball specifically, and then put them in a Ziploc bag, and then put them in a box. So... I'll probably have some bubble wrap mixed in with it too because they're so fragile. All right, the next item I have is this Hollister long sleeve button down t-shirt. It was my daughter's, so I really don't have any money into it. And it finally sold for $8.97 and they're all in at $13.72. I've had this listed for eight months. Hollister's not a big seller, um, so it's about time for it to go. This next item is an international sale, and they bought this cute little cat Halloween box, and it sold for $17.95, and they're all in at $27.65. Plus, I think they pay customs fees on top of that, so it's not a cheap item for them to buy. This next item I sold are these two cat Halloween decorations. They're so cute. They sold for $17.95 a piece, so it was $35.90, and they're all in at $48.54. So that's what's going out today. I will see you on Thursday morning. 
Hi everyone, it's Friday, October 16th, and I skipped yesterday, Thursday, because we did not have any sales until mid-morning, so I'm going to add them to today's sales. And I actually have them boxed up already, so I'm just going to tell you about it and put it right here. So we sold an SJ Pottery mug. It's about four inches and it was handcrafted. I sold it for $28.95 and paid $4 for it. And you can see here it sold $28.95 plus shipping. The other item was a Relativity jacket. It was like a blazer jacket, but it was buttoned. And it was corduroy and it sold for $11.97. And this situation is I had it on sale for $11.97 from like $19.95 and somebody from New York made me an offer for $10 on it and I already had it marked down to $11.97 so I counter offered her at $11 and she declined the $11 and then paid the $11.97. I don't know. I don't understand but whatever it sold for $11.97 plus shipping. so. I paid zero for it because it came in a bag of clothes that somebody gave me. So them are the two items that I sold on Thursday. It was kind of a slow day. And today so far has been a slow day as well. On Friday I woke up this morning and I sold two items as well. This first one is a chalkware wall hanging. It's vintage. And it's heavy. And this sold for $19.95. And I posted it about seven months ago, so it took a while to sell it. I debated about getting it. It was at an auction at the end, and nobody wanted it. So since it was chalkware, I picked it up, so I didn't pay anything for it. So turning it into 1995 is not a bad thing, but it did take seven months to sell. And this last item I have in a little Ziploc bag because I put all my clothes in a bag of some sort before I ship it out in a poly mailer. But it's a little cool K-U-H-L beanie hat. And I bought the, this Monday, posted it yesterday, and it sold overnight. So I sold it for $16.95 plus shipping. So it's a pretty good turnaround for, I paid $2.40 for it. So that's all the items that are going out today. I have the four. I have one other item that's sold, but it's waiting payment. So that's it for today. Hi everyone, it's Saturday morning and I have six items going out. It's October 17th and let's just get started. So this first little guy, I've only, I've only had up for four days. Uh, he sold for $14.95 on best offer and I paid 25 cents for him. This next one is a little Russ Berry clown. I've had her up since about six months ago, and she sold for $14.95, and they pay shipping on this. This next one is a Habana shirt. Um, I got this one at an auction, as well as this little clown. There's a big online auction lot that I got, and I paid probably 60 cents for this at the most, and it sold for $24.95 plus shipping. Then I have some vintage ornaments that went out. There's an indent ornament and a couple other ones. I got them wrapped up a little bit right now. Um, it sold for $22.50 on best offer. And I had these up for two months and I paid $1.50 for them. This next one is an Avagoya mug pottery. It's a piece of pottery. They even put a little like chalk piece for their label. It's really nicely done. It's here on the bottom. It says Avagoya mug and it's even painted, hand painted on the inside. Sold this for $29.95 plus shipping. And really I paid zero for it because my friend had bought it at the online auction that I was doing and she ended up moving and she gave me it because she just really didn't have room for it in her new place. So I inherited it. This next item are these three sandstone ornaments. They're hand painted and I think they're from Mexico. Yes. And they have um, the signature on the bottom by the artist 
and I got these I put these up in August and sold them in October so about two months it took to sell them and I sold them for $22 and I paid little or nothing for them and then this one is a Ralph Lauren polo hat there was two of them, so I decided to lot them together and I sold them for $22.50 plus shipping. And I paid $2 for them, so a pretty good deal. So that's all that's going out today. Let's get them shipped and we'll do a summary of the week. Okay, so we're going to summarize the week of October 12th through the 17th. Even though I was totally confused on what day of the week it is, which I always am, I know my numbers are accurate because I enter them in an Excel sheet as I sell each item. So the gross sales that I had this week was $971.63. And then my eBay fees are about 12.5%, which is $121.45. So we subtract that from the gross. And my shipping cost was $187.80. And I subtract that from the gross, as well as the cost of goods sold, which was $62.85, which brings me to a net profit of $599.53. So my profit usually runs 61%, which is a pretty good profit. So if this video helped you in any way, please like and subscribe and look for the next one. Thank you for joining me tonight.